Hola, hola. My name's Alex, and along with my boyfriend Keith, I'm driving from New York City down to Costa Rica and back. In this video, we'll be sharing days 34 through 44 on the road, where we stayed in the small town called Sununa along Lake Atitlan. Hope you guys enjoy! Our previous stop on this trip was a tiny house in Xela. We only drove about 49 miles, but it took a little over two hours. The majority of the drive was on a smooth highway, but once you approach the lake, the roads are unpaved for the most part, and they get a little bumpier. Luckily, we wouldn't be driving anywhere for the next 10 days. Good morning, I'm here in Tsununa. It's a town on the side of Lake Atitlan. Um, I'm at the Airbnb that we rented. We're gonna be here for two weeks. Uh, the views are really beautiful. You can see all three volcanoes around here from the bedroom and from pretty much any window in the house. So just wanted to share that view with you. So here you are. used as like a yoga retreat every once in a while so there's really cool rooftop yoga shala to do yoga on on the property, there's an herb garden. The kitchen is huge, um, so I'll give you guys a tour. Habitat has three different houses on the property and this is the biggest one. It has four bedrooms and sleeps 10 to 12 people. It was definitely a little bit of a splurge but we only used two of the bedrooms and we got a little bit of a discount um, since it was during COVID and no one was really traveling but even if we had paid the full price it still would have been a great deal for um, 10 to 12 people.
This is the master bedroom. It's a little messy because we just woke up. But there's a big bed and a little bed. And everything's really beautifully decorated. There's um, a bunch of Guatemalan textiles made by the Mayan women in the community. Here's the bathroom. And there's a really cool shower over here. And then you can go outside to a little patio. And you see the volcanoes again. All right, so that was the tour of the house. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's really big, it was just the three of us staying here, so we only used two of the bedrooms. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend staying here if you're a big group ever coming to Atitlan and you wanna stay somewhere relaxing, to do yoga, sit outside a lot. There's a lot of hummingbirds on the property. It's really nice. Hi. Um, so we've been in Atitlan for 10 days. We're leaving today. It's been really beautiful. We've been staying in Sununa, which is just like a little village on the lake. Um, we stayed at this really beautiful place called the Seed Habitat. Um, I think they usually use it as like a yoga retreat center. Um, and it sleeps a ton of people. It has four bedrooms and it was only three of us. So it was really nice. We definitely splurged a little bit, but we wanted to be comfortable if we were settling down somewhere for 10 days and it was definitely worth it. So we did a bunch of little hikes around the area. Um, we walked to San Marcos, which is a neighboring town. We took a boat taxi ferry thing to Panajachel one day and we did hikes around there. We checked out the town, did some shopping. They have a lot of really beautiful textiles there. It's been a really nice, really relaxing stay um, in Sununa, the town that we're in. They have two organic farms, they're permaculture farms. Um, so we went there and we went on pizza night one day and we had really nice like homemade pizza um, with all nat natural organic ingredients from the garden and it was really good. There's also a place here called Love Probiotics and they make their own kombucha and they make really good sourdough bread. So if you're ever here, I definitely recommend getting some kombucha there. Um, they also make like some homemade meat and stuff. Um, what else do they make? Yeah, they just make a lot of things. They make hot sauce. They make passion fruit habanero hot sauce, which is really good, a little spicy. They also do like a market here, I think. I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday, but they do like an open air market in the town. Um, we got lots of fruits and veggies there. So we've been cooking a lot. Sununa is a pretty laid-back town. It's quiet and there aren't a ton of restaurants, which is what I liked about it. If you want something a little busier but not as hectic as Panajachel, I would recommend going to San Marcos. But even though there are only a few restaurants in Sununa, it still wasn't hard to eat there as a vegan. We visited Restaurante Balam one afternoon as well as Maya Moon Lodge multiple times. We really liked it there because there were a lot of vegan options on the menu and it's a place you can spend an entire day at because they have hammocks and a dock where you can swim directly into the lake. They also have rooms there, so if we weren't already at the seed habitat, it's definitely a place I would look into for future stays. The staff was super chill as well. There's a yoga studio actually right across the street from where we're staying. Um, and if you do yoga there, you can eat there as well. And I think they also do like yoga retreats there, so you could stay there. We spent the majority of our days in Sunu now walking around town and checking out neighboring towns that you could walk to. We also spent a lot of time at the Seed Habitat because we had been on the road for a little over a month now. And it was nice to just relax and have fun without having to drive anywhere. Our friend Garrett also joined us for this part of our road trip, so it was fun to hang out with a new person and catch up. 
My friend Wendy, who is Guatemalan, told me that when she was a little girl, she wasn't allowed to swim in the lake because her parents told her that whirlpools would sometimes appear out of nowhere. We weren't sure if there was any truth behind that, but of course one night while we were hanging out on the yoga shala, we saw a whirlpool start forming out of nowhere. It was pretty cool. So we absolutely loved everything about our stay at the seed habitat, but it's important to remember that because Sununa is a place abundant with nature, you're probably going to have some interactions with creepy crawly critters. I'm not the most squeamish when it comes to insects, at least I think I'm not, but I know some people are, so if this is something you know would bother you, I would definitely take it into consideration when planning a trip. There's a spider on the wall. Where is the spider today? Ready? Whoa. Hi, spider. Keith took my side of the bed tonight because the spider is on his side. <laughs> Keith, where's the spider? Right there. Your side of the bed. <laughs> there he is tonight. There were these spiders I thought were pretty cool throughout the house. I think they were called wall spiders. They would hide during the day and come out at night. They were always in the same rooms, but on different spots of the walls. There were also scorpions throughout the property, so we had to make sure to check our shoes before putting them on. We saw one scorpion one day that was the size of a Tic Tac. It was so cute and tiny, and we were like, oh, this isn't scary. Then the next day, we saw another one the size of a golf ball, and that was definitely a little scarier. But there weren't just spiders and scorpions. There were also bees, ladybugs, dogs, and hummingbirds on the property. The hummingbirds were a joy to watch. One of them flew into the house one afternoon, and Garrett managed to help it find, it, find its way back out. to sit outside and watch them drink the nectar from flowers. The town is really beautiful. Um, everywhere you go, it's kind of like a hike because it's really hilly here. Um, you can see like all the hills behind me and you can see the volcanoes behind me. So pretty much like everywhere you go is a trek, so this is definitely a place you want to go to if you're in decent shape because you have to walk a lot um, in hot, hot sun and you're at like 5,000 feet elevation, so definitely something to consider if you want to come here. But I highly recommend at these time. It's really beautiful, really relaxing, and it's been a fun 10 days. But now we're headed to Antigua and I'm so excited to check that out. All right, see you guys soon, bye.
thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel los groovies our next stop will be antigua take care travel safe see you soon bye